Welcome back to See Mindy Mom and welcome to the Mom Van. I am out and about doing some grocery shopping. This is going to be one of my really big multi-store hauls, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, it is time to kind of restock my kitchen. I do this kind of grocery trip about once every two to three months. I usually visit multiple stores and try to get some good deals, maybe look for some new things to try and have lots of things to show you guys. But this is usually a pretty big haul. I'm usually trying to get lots of things that we can use immediately, but that will also kind of restock some of our staple items. So I'm gonna visit multiple stores. I'm sitting outside of Sam's right now. I'm gonna go in and we'll see what we can find. Come with me. Fall has definitely arrived at most of the stores that I am shopping at these days, including the ones that I visited on this day. Lots of fall themed decor and Halloween items and fall flavors like pumpkin spice items. I thought that this cereal was really fun and definitely made me sort of nostalgic. The Count Chocula, the Boo Berry and the Frankenberry. I remember these being around whenever I was a kid. There are even some pumpkin spice flavored things around that I don't remember from last season like these flips pretzels but let's face it when it comes to fall snacks there is one king and that is the Reese's pumpkins I was very excited to see the Members Mark dishwasher pods return to Sam's after several months of being gone. I really can't beat the price per unit for these compared to name brands. And honestly, of all the generics I've tried, it is far and away the best. Plenty of toilet paper and paper towels in stock at my Sam's and I was very grateful that they still have a limit of one so we don't see a repeat of the craziness from last year. But I have never seen so many different kinds of popcorn and so many different flavors, some of which I was kind of questioning you guys. Time to head into my favorite place. I wasn't overly thrilled with any of the produce prices that I was seeing at any of the stores that I was at on this particular day, but I was happy that Aldi had lots of things in stock that I routinely buy at the prices that I routinely see. And I finished up at a local grocery store to pick up a few deals and I bought a rebates. All right, this is my last stop at my local grocery store, Reesers. There it is behind me. Now we're gonna head home and get it all unloaded. That's the fun part. Ugh. Okay, so I am home. I have things unloaded. I got dinner going in the crock pot and I'm about ready to share my haul with you guys, but just a couple of things before we jump into it. Number one, it makes sense, at least in my mind, for me to go to multiple stores once in a while because I live in an area where a lot of those stores are like right next to each other. So the stores that I went to today, I wasn't like driving all over town, going to different places. It was pretty easy for me to pop in and pop out. Secondly, a lot of today's haul was focused on snacks, especially pre-packaged snack options for the kids to take to school and to activities. I'm not a huge fan of pre-packaged snacks. It can really bite into a person's budget. So I'm kind of particular about what I pick out and I'm usually looking for snacks that are at the very least less than 50 cents per portion or per package. And really I'm shooting more for around 30 cents or less per package for any kind of packaged snack. And we have a rule in this house that if it is a packaged snack, we do not eat it in the house. If we are in the house, we can make a yogurt parfait we can make some peanut butter toast or a sandwich. We can pop some popcorn. There are all kinds of snack options here at the house. The packaged things are for convenience for when we need to go someplace to a practice or to a rehearsal or to the church or to a game or something at school. I'm totally glistening, you guys. 
it is 92 degrees and it just started raining and it feels like a sauna outside. <laughs> it does. I'm going to get this all set out for you guys and uh, I'll show you what I got. I got some fun things. I got some new things for us, just kind of some standard staple things as well. So let's see what I got. My first stop was Sam's and down here, Paper towels, toilet paper, nothing super exciting about that. But I was very excited to see these, the Members Mark brand, the store brand of the dishwasher tabs. These are something that I have continuously bought. I have not found another generic brand that is as good. But for some reason, the last several times I've been to Sam's, they haven't had them, but they had them today. So I was excited. We were out of olive oil. I also picked up some diced peaches. They are in juice, not in syrup. Yes, in 100% fruit juice, not syrup. I normally pick up the mandarin oranges, but they didn't have them. And then these applesauce cups were actually on a clearance. I think it was less than $5 for this 24 pack and they're flavored. And there were only like two or three grams of added sugars in each one. So I was okay with that. I can live with that. And it is Halloween time. I gotta be honest with y'all. I'm not a huge fan of Halloween. I do love really cute kids dressing up in really sweet costumes, going trick or treating. That's super cute. But I do also really like that they come out with these snack size portions of different like crackers and cookies and stuff. And they're smaller than the other individual serving bags. So Ruthie specifically asked for goldfish. She rarely asked for something specific at the grocery store. Um, I had originally picked up just the like little one ounce bags. They come in a box of 36, I think. But then I saw these 80 bags and they are, you know, little like half ounce bags. So they're half the size, which is actually probably a better portion. I think these came out to like 12 cents a piece, which is really, really great. And then the Utz pretzels are another great little small snack. My husband actually says that he thinks these might be better than Dots pretzels. I think that might be blasphemy. I'm not sure. Certainly of all of the dupes, like all the people trying to dupe the Dots pretzels, these are definitely the best. The Snyder's Twisted Season. They have different flavors. It just says season on this one. And then paper plates. We don't use them a ton, but we're completely out and they come in handy from time to time. And Gatorade. I'm realizing I got the Gatorade Zero now. I probably should have just gotten the regular kind, but that's okay. It's just for hydration for the kids, especially really hot ball games that we have here in September. So there was my Sam's haul. And this here, along with that over there, is my Aldi haul. So starting with produce, I got some carrots. There's a couple of cucumbers here, some zucchini, some yellow squash, some celery, a bag of red onions. I did pick up some of this applesauce, the unsweetened kind that's flavored, you know, like blueberry or strawberry. That's seasonal. They don't have it all year round. So I went ahead and picked some of that up. I still have some of it in the pantry from a previous trip. And unfortunately they didn't have a lot of good fruit deals at any of the stores I was at. So it's good that I got, you know, some little fruit cups, but I also picked up some red grapes because those were a great deal. They were 95 cents a pound at Aldi. So I picked up two big bags of those. Some greens for salad. This is just romaine hearts. Snack options. These little mini alphabet cookies. Um, there are 12 pouches in here. I thought they were a good price and they fit my spending threshold of less than 30 cents. Cereal bars, various flavors, really inexpensive, good for quick sugars for the kids. We really, really like the Aldi brand of the Triscuit crackers and I think they're only $1.25 a box. The kids like to have these with a little cheese or some cream cheese or maybe some lunch meat or something like that as a good home snack. These were a total impulse buy Neapolitan cream filled cookies. I love Neapolitan ice cream or especially the Neapolitan ice cream sandwiches, you know, with the strawberry and the chocolate and the vanilla. I just got those as a special treat. We'll just give those a try. I'm sure they're seasonal. They were in the seasonal aisle, but we'll let you know how those are. Graham crackers. We always have those. I got a brownie mix because the kids have a friend who is sick and they asked if they could make some brownies to porch drop to them. Some peanut butter, basmati rice. That's my favorite kind of rice. Two jars of queso. This is a staple for us. We use this a lot of different ways and for snacking. And this is just the standard one that I buy. But then I saw this one in the seasonal aisle. It's a chipotle. So I thought we'd give that a try as well. Some garlic salt because we were out. Some dressing mixes. Just like to have those on hand just in case. Like today, whenever I realized I was out of my homemade ranch mix and I was wanting to put dinner in the crock pot and it called for that. At least I have one to replenish that one with because I used my emergency package today. Canned minestrone soup. Um, I have not seen this in a long, long time. And my mom has a soup recipe that I make. I think some of you call it seven can soup, but we call it sooner soup. And it's basically this plus several cans of other things and some ground beef. And you just put that all together and make soup. And the canned minestrone soup is what really helps flavor it. I haven't seen it in ages. So I went ahead and just picked up two cans so I can make that soup because even though it feels like it's 11,000 degrees today, it will be soup season soon. At least I hope. A big two pound package of spaghetti because we were completely 
completely out. A couple cans of beans, some chopped green chilies. They had these at my Aldi for the first time that I've seen in a while. We have really liked the pasta salad from there, so I got another box to have on hand. Some tomato products, nothing super special there. We always have those. Some minced garlic. I do like to mince it fresh, but it's nice to have a jar of it in the refrigerator too, and we were out. You guys, turkey pepperoni was back in my Aldi. I have not seen it in months. They had it today, so I picked up two packages. I'll probably throw one in the freezer. The kids can use the other one for lunches or for snacks. We are almost out of sugar, both white and brown. I don't have an immediate need for it, but it's one of those things that if I decide to start baking and then I go to the pantry and I don't have enough sugar, it's a very sad day. So I wanted to make sure that I went ahead and picked that up. Same goes for balsamic vinegar. We were out. I like to use this to make salad dressing. We've got some milk, cheese, four days, kind of our standard selection. I usually have a wedge of Parmesan cheese as well. And then I got this a while back for a charcuterie board. I thought that it might make a really good pizza or pasta dish. So I picked up some more of that. Sausage snack sticks. And I learned the hard way that these have to go in the refrigerator after you open them, you guys. <laughs> I put them back in the pantry like you might with a package of beef jerky and that was a mistake. So make sure you put them in the fridge after you open them. Some veggies here. I've got our regular broccoli florets and the California medley. I love the whole green beans there, the extra fine. And then I really like this broccoli stir fry because it has water chestnuts in it and I like the crispiness. I think some people don't care for that, but I really like that. Some whole milk Greek yogurt, two containers of whipped cream cheese spread. The kids like this for lots of different things, for crackers, for sandwiches, to dip pretzels in. So good. And then just a block of the third less fat cream cheese. Standards for us in the fridge. Stick butter, tub butter. Eggs have definitely gone up in price at my Aldi. Um, they're still not unreasonable, but they've definitely gone up. They've almost doubled in price in the last few months. I did not get a lot of meat because this is not the kind of grocery haul where I do that. This is the kind where I just kind of restock snacks, staples, look for new things, have some things on hand for me but I did go ahead and pick up a pound of the grass-fed ground beef because it's still the same price there that it has been. It is $4.95 for a pound, which is pretty reasonable. And then these were a splurge. I really like these for lunch. Now that the kids are back in school, I it's just me at lunchtime. And so sometimes if there's nothing left over, I'm kind of digging through the fridge or the freezer. These are really, really good in the air fryer. So I went ahead and picked up some of these, even though they're a little pricey in my opinion for what they are. There's only four fillets in here and they're over $5, but still one of these with maybe a little rice, some veggies, and I have just a yummy lunch. And then over here, I have pretzels and bread on top of the bread box, which I guess you can't really see. So pretzels, another pantry staple for us. Good snack for the kids. That's just a loaf of, you know, regular bread for sandwiches. I have picked these up a couple times. I first tried these in the big size bagels and I haven't seen them since, but I was so excited to find this kind, the Hawaiian in the mini bagels. Pretty sure they're gonna be seasonal, though they won't be there forever, but the little mini ones are actually a better size for all of us, but especially for the kids. This is a great, pre-swim, pre-gymnastics, pre-baseball, practice like snack. This is really, really good with some of that whipped cream cheese. And then I usually pick up a package of these at Aldi when they have them and I put them in the freezer. They make really great sandwiches and sliders and they're so, so, so much less expensive than the name brand one. And I had not seen these before. These are the Clancy's, that's a store brand pretzel slims, but they're in the garlic Parmesan. So thought I would get those to try those out. And then I keep picking up packages of these kids' masks. We have our kids wearing masks at school as much as possible. It's actually not mandated here, which is another story altogether, but we won't get into it. They keep marking these down, the disposable ones, and they're like $1.29 for a package of 10. So I keep picking up packages of them when I go because sometimes these are just so much more convenient than using the fabric ones. And also sometimes it's nice to send these to the teachers so they have some extras in their room for kids who need them. And then I ran into my local grocery store research just to pick up a few sale items and some items that had good rebates attached. Ruthie needed some page protectors, so I just went ahead and picked them up there rather than make a special trip. I got some bananas. They were out of lunch meat, turkey lunch meat at my Aldi. I think it was because they had it marked down. So I went ahead and picked up some from the deli. Ruthie will be so happy that she can make sandwiches again for lunch because <laughs> lunch pickings have been kind of slim lately around here. There was an Ibotta rebate for Nature Valley products and it was not free free after the rebate, but it was really close. And again, it meets my snack criteria of being around 30 cents per package. So I went ahead and picked up some of these. This was one of the reasons I went in. There was a great sale on Chobani yogurts, including the flips, which we all really, really like. They were a dollar a piece, but there was a store coupon for $2 off of 10. So it made them 80 cents a piece. Plus these and these also had an Ibotta rebate attached. And there was an Ibotta rebate for this creamer as well. So went ahead and picked some of that up. If you have never 
never used Ibotta before, I will leave my referral link in the description box below. I believe that you get a little something whenever you sign up and use the app for the first time. I got some frozen cheese tortellini, and this was another reason that I went into the store. This Sargento cheese, and it's like a thick cut one. It was on sale three for five dollars, so $1.66 for a package of this brand, brand name cheese. I had to be really careful because some of the packages were only six ounces, and I wanted the most bang for my buck, so I picked out the eight ounce packages. So I got two of these four cheese Mexican and one of the sharp cheddar. And we have really been into the sherbet lately. I don't know why. I guess because when it's super, super hot out, I feel like this is so much more refreshing than ice cream because ice cream is a lot fattier. You know, it's got more fat in it. So maybe it sits a little heavier on the tummy and the sherbet just like seems more refreshing. So these were on sale two for five. It's the Turkey Hill brand. So $2.50 for a little sherbet. I went ahead and got two of those to put in the freezer. Oh, and I almost forgot you guys. I also bought this fan <laughs> at all. Oh, so um, I didn't even know what price it was. It ended up well, on my receipt, it was $26.99, but it's a big box fan. Ours broke a while back and sometimes we need this in various places around the house. So I went ahead and just picked that one up. Okay, McKenna, what is the, what's the verdict on the Neapolitan cookies? They're pretty good. They're pretty good? Mm -hmm. Might need to try one. Ooh, not. these definitely, I definitely smell the strawberry. Like I can smell the strawberry cream in these. Mmm, those are good. Even better with some milk or some vanilla ice cream. Milk. Mm. Milk. Yummy. Milk. They're pretty good. Milk.